Hello everyone, after installing and configuring your tracker on your server, another important thing that you need to do is actually to ensuring that your tracker server able to handle multiple requests for that coming from the devices that your client install. So in this video, I will show how to use a Locust using the Python to do the load testing so you can ensure that your tracker server is actually able to handle that kind of the request simultaneously. So the first thing first, I already log into my tracker. You can access uh, the free tracker server uh, in the mytracker.online and you can go to free devices to track and this is one of mine so i will have this id mytracker.online and i will simulate by creating the http request to the endpoint of the tracker so we can have like multiple uh, requests per second so we can like simulate in the real uh, scenario so uh, i already have this id mytracker.online for my device and the location is here let me show you about the current location let's go to the details and this is the latitude and also the longitude and we will use this information to configure the http request that uh, we want to have okay so now let's try to start the locus and then we try to simulate i will show you the script so this one is the locus so we just need to define the function of the load testing and we define the payload in this case we need to put the id or identifier of the device that present in the tracker server and the, the latitude and the longitude and also the timestamp and also the speed so i make this to be like a static one because the point of or the focus of this video is only to show like how many uh, requests per second that the tracker server can handle okay giving the the specification of the server itself so now after we have this i will run the script let's wait for a moment and you see here i can access that in the browser and let's go to the browser let's reload this it will be running now now what you need to do is actually to put the uh a number of the requests i mean the number of user let's put that uh, 50 and then the spawn rate to be like 25 and also then the thing that we also need to put is actually the host itself the host is actually where we should send the data for the uh, tracker so for this my tracker you can point this to the data dot my tracker dot online with the port 50 55 and once we start this we can expect here in this one actually it will be coming online and it will show that see this is uh, actually one hour ago for the sending the data now it will show uh, online and it is it will be like showing the graph so let's start this one let's start start swarming and you can see here see the request is already like 172 and then the request per second is 30 and we can see now it is online because we are running the the, the, the request generator and it's sending the actual request to the server and it is like tracking uh, in the real time so it is good and when we check here with this actually we can see that with the 32 requests per second here everything is good you can see the response time is still good and also there is no failure means like the tracker server actually can handle more than this one so just ensure that your tracker server is able to do that i mean it is not easy task because you need to install them in your server you need to handle the reverse proxy you need to manage the database and many things but if you like need to have the easy way to have your device track and just use the mytracker.online for these services so yeah this is the video that i can share to you now and you can see here the request for all of them it is like zero failure means the st the tracker server for from the mytracker.online is very stable for uh, our use case okay and then that's all for this video see you in the next video